Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video on uh, uh, travel humidor that I've got. Um, it's not this one, but uh, I was gonna say, you know, I've I've got one of these uh, cigar caddies. A lot of people do. Um, you know, it, it's not nice, not bad. It's uh, convenient. It holds about five cigars on this particular one, and you know, I'm sure you guys have all seen them. There's plenty of these around. Um, but I have a uh, larger travel humidor that I use on my extended trips. Um, I mentioned in another video that I had a bunch of cigars in a Pelican case, so this is it. Uh, it's a pretty large case, um, and what I did is I, I cut a hole in it and I installed a uh, hygrometer um, with a temperature gauge, and uh, you know, it's... Okay, wait, that's heavy. It's uh, it's about 67 percent. It's been holding uh, now. In current humidity right now in the air is 47 percent. It's been a little rainy and foggy lately. Uh, but the nice thing about how this has been set up is uh, I have these trays in uh, my humidor that I've been converting. And okay, that wasn't. And so um, this is basic, this is one of the trays right out of the humidor, so I can just literally pull it right out of the humidor and then drop it in here. So there's uh, foam on the side and foam in the middle. And if I pull this out, I can actually install uh, more trays. So um, I cut this pelican case to to fit the trays. So um, the way this is set up. This will actually hold four of these trays, so I can actually take quite a bit with me when I travel. Uh, I don't usually, I just pull these out. Um, I don't usually take all of the same thing, but uh, uh, so I kind of use this as extra storage, but also, like I said, when I travel. So, um, uh, because when I do travel, I'll occasionally pick up, like this I picked up when I was traveling. These are some uh, uh, Select Cabinet Reserve, Alec Bradley. Uh, I really liked these, and I don't think they make them anymore. So, and uh, the uh, the uh, hygrometer that I cut into the into the lid, uh, interestingly enough, uh, only shows in Celsius. Um, what's driving me? I don't really like that. Um, and I had done another video where I had uh, put one of these to kind of show how quick the humidity gets through the uh, uh, cellophane. So. In looking at this, I thought for sure there's got to be a way to switch this sort of Fahrenheit. And so I took this one and uh, looked at the bits, and I'm sure this won't come out in the video, but uh, in very, very tiny letters down here, there's a C slash F. So either there's a resistor that gets swapped out, or there's something that either gets shorted or opened to switch this display over to Fahrenheit. So I'm going to play with this one, and once I figure that out, I'll make the adjustment on this one, but uh, you know, at the very least, um, you know, it's been holding. I don't have any beads or anything in here yet. Um, you know, like I said, it's been holding at around 70, 75, depending. Um, but the the real issue is that when I when I travel, the cabinet can get. Uh, sometimes it's in the car and it gets a little hot, and uh, and so then the humidity basically drops because all the humidity goes the, uh, into the air. So um, I'm planning on actually uh, putting some, uh, you know, I just stuffed this in here and now I'm, I'm pulling it back out. Uh, I'm going to be cutting out some holes and in inserting uh, a couple of high, uh, humidifiers that, uh, using the beads. Uh, I think that seems to be the way to go. Um, I've not, never been crazy about the foam. So uh, that'll be the next step, but uh, this is kind of the start. So like I said, this is it's a nice case, holds uh, four of these trays, gives me plenty to take with me for friends and family. Anyway, still working on the uh, hygrometer, on the, uh, on the uh, cabinet, and uh, I've got that pretty much breadboarded. Once I've got all the breadboarding done, I'll, uh, I'll do a quick update on that before I actually install it. Um, the one thing that's holding me back right now is just uh, I've got to buy a lot more Spanish cedar. But anyway, thanks a lot. Take it easy.